Remember when life looked like this? Yeah, me neither. A lot of you guys are probably not feeling the happiest or most positive right now because of our current situation. You may be scrolling through YouTube or TikTok for hours on end just to fill up your days, which is completely fine, but we shouldn't let this pandemic dull our excitement for the future. That's why I made this post quarantine bucket list to get you guys hyped for the summer and to inspire you to make the best out of post quarantine life. So we've all been in quarantine for a while and I wanted to make this video to give you guys some ideas on what you can do after quarantine is done. This will give you guys some positivity just to like get your mind off of stuff and get excited for the future. And if you have more ideas, comment them down below. First thing, sleepovers. <laughs> Never literally heard of her. I can't remember the last time I had a sleepover. You can also go to parties. I'm excited to go to parties. I don't really think I need to explain that. I'm excited for prom. Even though our school canceled it, there's gonna be no school run prom for me. It's probably the same for a lot of you guys, but yes, I was supposed to graduate this year. I know that some of my friends are going to organize their own prom like later when everything's fine. There's no way that my grade is not going to have a prom because we're all so excited for it. So there will be a prom, but I'm excited for that. I'm so excited to hug someone. <laughs> Literally anyone like I literally might even go up to a random person on the street and just hug them because like I I want to hug someone and not be scared that I'm gonna get a virus That's gonna be pretty cool. You know, it's the simple things. I'm so excited for car rides with friends This has to be a regular occurrence after quarantine <laughs> There are so many songs that I would need to show my friends and want to jam with them in the car. I want to go shopping and thrifting. I know that we're not allowed to go to the mall, obviously, or like stores and stuff, but I actually want to be able to touch the clothes before I buy them instead of buying everything online. Also, do you guys want a shopping online video? Because I might make that. Click the I and respond if you would want it. I want to have a day downtown. <laughs> And this has actually been on my summer bucket list, but I don't think I ever did it or I didn't film it. I want to have a day downtown with my friends that we like go out to eat and then we take pictures and shop and just explore. I don't know why I'm talking with my hands so much, but I think that would be a really fun day idea and just to, like fill a day with. I really want to go to a movie theater and watch a movie. <laughs> See, these are like such simple things that I used to take for granted, like, and now I'm never going to give up an opportunity to go to see a movie or a drive-in because the weather is getting nice here in Canada. I also want to go out to get food. I cannot remember the last time I actually went out, sat down at a table, munched on my food, and then left. You know what I mean? I have never actually tried working out outside except for maybe once at my cottage. But I feel like it would motivate you and it'll just be less stuffy and you, I don't know, maybe you tan at the same time. I've never tried it, so I'm gonna try working out outside, especially if my cottage reopens. I wanna pet a stranger's dog. There have been so many times when I'm walking for my daily. Am I getting a package? There have been so many times where I'm out walking for my daily walk and I see someone's cute little dog and I can't touch it. I want to have a sick girls night where we just like have a bunch of things to do. Like watch movies, do like a pamper, make a ton of TikToks, go even for a drive. Something that is not really like a bucket list item but it's just a reminder that I wanted to put in is to quit complaining. Like I feel like a lot of us always get wrapped up in like the little things and kind of just just depressed over when plans don't work out or just complaining about school or something but I'm gonna literally stop complaining because I have noticed all the things that I took for granted before which I will never do again I'm excited to get my nails done because I've been doing them at home and we also ran out of acetone so I literally pick them off and it kind of takes like a thin layer off of my nail every time so maybe my quarantine's over I literally won't have nails anymore 
put a finger down. <laughs> Something I'm going to do after quarantine is definitely donate more because I realized the impact that this channel can have on people's lives. Like the COVID relief fund donation that I set up on this channel already has over 30,000 donations to it. So I feel like I want to get more into like donating funds and just help people out that aren't as fortunate or who need help. This is so simple, but I just want to go to a coffee shop and work or talk with my friends. <laughs> I find it so therapeutic when I have a different environment to work in and it makes me so much more inspired. I wanna go on especially more photo shoots out in public places. Honestly, I don't have a problem taking photos in front of people because it's my job and I really don't, I really don't care anymore. Go and take pictures in public places instead of in my house. I wanna Uber eat something without sanitizing it. I miss going to the gym so much. Also, I can't dance anywhere in my house and the gym is where I practice dance. So very excited to go back and see if I've lost all my flexibility. I've never done this before with my friends, but I want to have an outdoor picnic. My friends and I were actually talking about having a bonfire or when people come to my cottage, we have a little fire table thing. We also have another fire pit. Wow, my family really likes fire. <laughs> I was just talking to this, I was just, I was just talking to my mom about this, but I'm so excited to start tanning for the summer. Cause you can kind of tell when it's like self tan versus real tan. Honestly, I might even start doing that now. Like I'll literally go in my backyard and lay on my table. I'm gonna go outside more after quarantine. Because I feel like I have taken going outside for granted. Also, I get very wrapped up in doing social media stuff that I basically never see the sunlight. So I should probably go outside. My friend Meg was mentioning this to me the other day and we want to set up a friend camping trip. Comment down below if you guys have ever done a friend camping trip and let me know how it goes because I don't know if we'd be able to survive. After quarantine, I'm not going to be afraid to try new things because I realized that I shouldn't take anything for granted and if I have the opportunity to do something, I should take it. I'm excited to try out my new film camera because I still have not figured out how to even turn it on. So that's gonna be a very educational experience for me and for you. And I will definitely be posting content that I get from it on the Instagram, which is Sadie Aldis. I've mentioned it in about 17 videos. Haven't tried it. I wanna go for more brunches with my friends. Those are always the best. And some of these aren't like bucket list items you can really check off, but I wanna not hold grudges on people. There's a lot of times just in high school when there's drama with people and then you have this kind of like bad blood between you for weeks or months and that's just not worth it. This quarantine has made me realize that the things I thought that were a super big deal aren't actually that big of a deal. Just forgive people and you'll also be seen as a bigger person and a kinder person. I want to drive. To anywhere, literally anywhere. I want to drive and have a destination to drive to. I also want to go on a road trip, which is kind of the same thing, but I've never been on a road trip with my friends. I am so excited to go swimming. And this year I actually want to go to some outdoor music festival or fair or something outside. I know a lot of them are going to be postponed to like the fall and stuff. Since I will be 18, maybe I can get into more of them than I could before. Oh, also my birthday's in the summer, so I'm very excited about that. But I hope this gave you some inspiration or some positivity to look forward to things in the future after quarantine. This is honestly what is keeping me sane and positive. I hope that you guys are staying positive too. I know that it's super hard, but it's not impossible. And if you actually like try and focus on the things that you still have in your life, Life, then more positive things are going to come to you. If you want stuff to do when you're bored in quarantine, you can click the I because I have two videos on that. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.
clips so many times in this video.